I was able to solve first and two questions fully, and third question, two third I was able to solve. Mm-hmm. Rest was like TLEs. So I was not expecting like I could be sh- uh, shortlisted for interview. Hi everyone. So today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Tarun. So Tarun, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So my name is Tarun Singla. I'm currently working at Uber as an SD one. I'm a recent graduate at IIT Mandi. I did my B Tech in Data Science. Yeah. Yes, so Tarun is here to talk about his interview experience at Uber. So Tarun, tell us everything in details. Over to you. So it has basically four rounds. Uh, first round was coding round. Mm-hmm. Where there were like three questions. Uh, first question was uh, maths question, uh, like medium, and second was uh, again medium questions uh, in DP, mm-hmm. and third question was hard. Like it was a DP hard problem. Like generally, <laughs> yeah, like DP problems. So two problems out of three were DP. Yeah. <laughs> First round only. Yeah, like it was a coding online round. Yeah. So I was able to solve first and two questions fully, and third question, two third I was able to solve. Mm-hmm. Rest was like TLEs. So I was not expecting like I could be sh- uh, shortlisted for interview because mm-hmm. you could expect to solve like all yeah. three questions, but I was shortlisted for the interviews. So uh, my first round. Again, was a DSA problem mm-hmm. solving round. Again, it was a DP problem, <laughs> but it was like way harder than uh, uh, than the online round. Yeah. So in the DP hard problem interview, first told me the problem, and he first told me uh, first solution what you can like suggest. Mm-hmm. He was not uh, wondering about the time complexity, so I just uh, told him the polynomial solution, mm-hmm. and then he was just trying to how you can optimize it further. I just optimize it to n log n. He was still uh, saying me to yeah. optimize further, like how you can just reduce it uh, to further where you can't reduce it. So I, after that, he told me like, uh, why you are able to solve this problem so fast? Have you done this problem before? <laughs> I just told him like, I just observed the plaque pattern. I had done the similar uh, yeah, pattern yeah. problem, so mm-hmm. that's why I was able to solve. At last, I started my coding. So. It took me around ten uh, minutes to code the problems. There was uh, silly like mistakes that mm. interview I just fixed out, and then it worked for all the test cases that interview has provided. So this was my uh, first round. After half an hour, like there was gap, and then again second round started. Same day. Second round, I was also expecting DSA problem, but uh, it was a oops problem. Like you mm-hmm. need to, I need to implement a food delivery systems. There was a three functions. Where I need, to, I can add the restaurant, I can add the dish to the restaurant, I can deliver the dish, mm-hmm. or I can uh, basically add the ingredients to the particular restaurant Ooh. as an extension, like yeah. what ingredients are needed in the dish. Mm-hmm. So he was further extended the functionalities. How will you deliver the dish? How will you? The, what are the payment methods, etc. Like as the time goes on, he was and uh, adding the more and more functionalities. Mm. So at last he uh, dry run my code and also. He had prepared some of the test cases, so <laughs> yeah. this time I was like not confident like whether it will work. But finally, it worked. Uh, like I was happy, so interview also much happy. So this was my second round. Uh, my third round was HR round. Mm-hmm. Uh, they started with the introduction. After that, it, they asked me about one of my project that I mm-hmm. worked on. He just uh, saw my resume and selected one of my projects. I was ab- able to explain the project. He then uh, asked me some of the questions related to the project. How you implement this f- particular functionality? Uh, why you, you have chosen the language? Mm-hmm. Why you have chosen this particular project? What extra functionality you want to add? If you want to add now, so these are the uh, some basic questions that they asked. After that, uh, they asked me to design an attendance system for a particular mm-hmm. class. What are the APIs uh, that I would require? What functions I would Uh, make and what are the uh, some of the challenges i will solve like mm-hmm. how to tackle the proxy and all at last he just uh, told me some of uh, suggestions that i could imp- uh, improve in this particular system design problem uh, that was pretty much it after that i asked some of the questions that i prepared before <laughs> yeah so, yeah so this was my third uh, interview round okay. yeah it was nice So, what did you have for your projects? Like, what did you choose in the development field? So, basically, I did backend only in Node.js. Mm. 
Oh, nice. Yeah. So, what did you have in the project? What project did you make? It was basically a social media type applications where you have mm-hmm. certain uh, implementation, like how you can add a friend, how you can uh, see for send a friend request, how you can react to the post or mm-hmm. likes, and uh, how the other like emojis and all. So I just implemented this uh, with my friend. So I just told him all about what I have implemented, how I have done, like what unique I have done. Mm-hmm. to this uh, particular project yeah that was so you I, had something unique added to the social media project right some unique uh, twist of yours yeah. to the project right yeah mm-hmm. that is actually very important right if someone make someone is making a project that's what i also tell my students that if you're making a project don't just uh, copy some social media website you know try to add, try to add some unique functionality of yours right that really impresses the interviewer right if it has some unique functionality rather than it being a copy of some other social media website yeah uh, that is really important like you just don't want to copy paste from internet and yeah just, just copy the code from somewhere else right yeah yeah exactly so tarun uber is such a big company and it's a dream company for most of the people so how did you prepare for it like you said it the uh, dsa was also very difficult they asked mostly dp so how did you prepare for this yeah. rounds and this company so basically i started <coughs> my preparation after the first year mm-hmm. mostly in covid i started topic by topic like i started maths uh, dp graphs mm-hmm. i firstly try to master every topics for dp it took me time to firstly uh, observe the patterns like mm-hmm. there are different uh, pattern problems in dp right. i just focus pattern by pattern and then i tried medium problems and then after that i try hard still i was not able to like solve the problems in the context i still focus on my like basics what uh, basics i am like i mm. should know before that so after my practice i was able to solve the hard problems in lead code contest oh Even wow so, so you were able to solve hard problems in contest live yeah contest yeah but uh, the time was high but i was able to solve mm. so just uh, after that uh, try to reduce my time as well i was not able to reduce much but i was able to complete all four problems in 50 minutes so that was mm-hmm. good for me yeah uh, that was it, it after that uh, i also focused on my uh, cs fundamental topics mm-hmm. because i know that was who was asked so oops i did like very well from like c++ like i completed all my topics in mm-hmm. the oops what extra questions uh, they are asked mostly like disha company asked mm-hmm. oops really well so i just prepared uh, the questions like from the past interview experiences mm-hmm. what questions they have asked so i just brush up my all concepts in oops i did a uh, operating system as well and dbms was taught in college only so mm-hmm. it didn't uh, took much time uh, of me so this i did and apart from this i also uh, do puzzles because generally some of the mm-hmm. companies do ask puzzles yeah in geeks of geeks i completed like all the puzzles that were listed there so yeah it took me like uh, apart from dsa rest of the time took me one month to complete like all the topics mm-hmm. apart from dsa dsa was just going on side by side so, so you were doing this... dsa parallelly along with doing all the rest of the things right yeah so that is also one important thing i would like to point out you know what a lot of people do they think ki pehle dsa kar lenge fir baki sab karenge that's not the way you should do it you should do dsa parallelly dsa is more like a ongoing everlasting process right the side by side karna hi rehta yeah. hai dsa should be like start going on till mm. the interview like you need dsc without yeah. that it's like really difficult to crack the top companies or crack good companies right most of the good companies that is yeah mm. so tarun what advice would you give to the students watching this suppose people in first year second year students are watching this they also want to crack a company like uber what advice would you give to them yeah so first advice would be not to focus on pro- solving more and more problems just focusing on the concepts like uh, you can solve limited problems but do that properly hmm. quality able, over quantity yeah quality should be more important and then start dsa as early as possible <laughs> the second very true first, yeah. uh, like most of the people start before the internship season starts so that creates problem for them and focus on the other topics as well they too are asked in the companies like in our college uh, disha 
most of the people were not able to answer the cs fundamental question in the interviews because mm. they mostly focus on the dsa part yeah. that too is important and you should also focus on the projects as well like mm. you should be able to have like two or three projects in your resume that really helps Mm-hmm. So I'm having some good projects, right? Quality projects in your resume. And resume should be, uh, there should not be any anything extra that you don't know about the topic. So if the uh, recruiter, uh, sorry, if the interviewer asks and you uh, you don't have any idea about that, it doesn't uh, have good mm-hmm. impression on the interviewer. Yeah, so I guess that covers pretty much everything about Uber's interview experience and how to crack a company like Uber. So thanks a lot, Tarun, for coming on my channel and sharing your journey. I hope it will help a lot of students. So thank you.